Yeah, did I don't <laughs> honestly. What does she expect me to what give her my Wollumbin Horizons card, which is linked to my personal Westpac number that's got my PIN number, like give her my PIN number as well to all my other accounts, maybe give my internet banking as well. I should do that, maybe give my token. So she's a dumb cunt hole. She's just a fucking honestly. She doesn't have a fucking brain in that head of hers. She just doesn't. She's a fucking brainless twat, dude. So, yeah, she can fuck off. I'm not selling her. You know, I'm not doing shit for her. She can just fuck off. Um, if, <laughs> honestly, uh, who who would say, I want to come around and pick up a credit card? She sent me a text saying, can you make an appointment, lock in an appointment for four o'clock so I can come around and collect your your credit card? Like, fuck you, you fucking dumb cunt. Honestly, if she turns up here, I'll set the fucking dogs onto her. And then when she goes down, I'll keep the fuck out of her so the other little dogs can get a bite in as well. I, I tell you, dude, I'm fucking dumbfounded by how, just what a complete fucking ignorant cunt she is. Anyway, I'm just going to continue to completely ignore her, which obviously frustrates the fuck out of her, but fuck her. Let's get the, in, let's get the statements out that need to go out. Anyone with half a brain we'll see that there's no money in there. Yeah, right. Anyone with half a brain will go, oh, right, well, what, what this dumb cunt is trying to do is to get access to the Wollumbin Horizons bank account because that's where she thinks all the money is. She's going to go, aha, there it all is. See, I fucking knew it. And she thinks we're being obstructive. But I'm just uh, going to say, you listen here, you fucking cunt. There's no way known that you're getting access to that bank account. Um, I will go to the rest of the community and say that absolutely under no circumstances should Mary Lou have access to the bank accounts. We can put anyone else up, anyone else up at all, and I'll sign them over. But I'm the signatory that signs it over, and I'm the one that's responsible, and I'm still the fucking director at the moment. So they can all fuck off. It's a company and a company account, and they can fucking suck on my hairy balls because I'm not doing a fucking thing until I'm off, and I've resigned, and it's all sorted out. And I can have Robin say, you are now 100% no longer liable. Then I'll fucking hand shit over and I'll sign over the bank accounts with the zero dollars in it, as you know. And they can go and fuck off and then fight over that shit. So, dude, she needs to have a fucking, if she was a bloke, she'd get a punch in the head. That's exactly what would happen to her. You go, you dumb cunt. There is something fucking wrong in your brain. Smack. Now shut the fuck up until we tell you to speak. That's how you deal with a guy. But you can't with a twat because they're fucking twats. So, yeah, fucker, I'm over that shit. Talk to Robin about it tomorrow, but I'm just going to say, Mary, stop ringing me, stop emailing me, stop phoning me, stop harassing me. Who are you? You are one You are one member of a fucking community, and you know what? No one fucking actually thinks that you're doing anything. You're not doing anything on behalf of the community. Fuck off. What is she doing? You know, as per the email, send me this, 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 and this. As per the fucking email that you said, fuck you, no hope. So, mate, honestly, she, she honestly thinks... What does she think that we're fucking, we're sitting on her money and selling units without putting people on the block and just fucking what, taking the money and not giving it to her? The stupid cunt doesn't fucking get it, does she? She doesn't have a fucking clue. All right, I've done the Wollumbin Horizon statements. I'm now caught up to date with all those things, so I'm now sending them off. Um, they look fine. There's a few fuel things and Woolworths here and some food there for us and fuck them. It was all uh, genuine business expenses, so they can suck my cock. Um, there's about five grand I think we took out in um, wages, which is negligible and nominal at best. Fuck, man. We should have been paid 30, 40 grand for the amount of work we've done on it. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> I don't give a shit. We weren't getting paid anywhere else. They can fuck off. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait till we hit them with the bill for 80 grand for the, the rest of the money that they fucking owe us. I can't wait to fucking. Mary Lou thinks that all this money's hidden in this account and that we've been pilfering it. She'll say there's nothing going in there. This will fucking, this will head fuck her. She won't know where to go from here. She'll be like, oh, but what are they, where are they stealing all the money to from now? Fucking dumb cunt. Anyway, um, did you, how are you going with the thing for Von Lashard? Have you got something together? Um, and uh, also the email to the community, you're going to get that um, across to me as well. And then see where you're at. I'll um, have a, I'll add my stuff to it and it can go out and get ready for the vote. Um, I mean, all this bullshit about Mary Lou doing all this urgent shit and pushing us now. What? What's the urgency? Who the fuck is she? Why is she pushing us? Tell her to go fuck herself. Anyway, you know how I feel about that. Um, yeah, just let me know how you're doing, man. What's happening? Hey, mate, just give me a bell. When you're there on the community phone or whatever, give me a bell. But, yeah, oh, look, I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm I'm sort of over Bulla Bulla, to be honest. 
I just think it's now just a stepping stone to get me next door. I look at it and go, you know what? I'm fucking so sick to death of dealing with cunts like her. I mean, my bulla bulla view is G, um, Mary Lou, and that other fucking maggot up there. So, yeah, I don't see any of the good stuff, really. I get all the shit stuff, and I'm with Robin that, fuck it. <clears throat> I mean, I just see that block there as an asset for me now. I don't have much of an intention to fucking live there at this point. And if as long as we get next door, if I don't, then I'm fucking stuck there. But I feel stuck there. I don't want to be stuck there now. So I want to just go across the road and fucking that's it. Just I don't give a fuck about the whole community aspect anymore. So I don't give a fuck about us. So I couldn't give a fuck about them right now. And I don't give a shit about the whole giving all the statements. And I think, you know what? Fuck it. Stick it up your ass. Your sales and marketing. I want 80,000 bucks for my fucking time so far. And my uh, a lot of hours, you owe me eighty thousand bucks. And who's uh, who is jumping in the directorship role? Because I want to sue that person, whoever that fucking person is. Jump in right now. Someone stick your hand up. Where are you, Mary Lou? You fucking cunt. I agree. I think the conversation with Mary Lou needs to be. So who's going to sell your unit now, Mary Lou? You fucked us off. I'm not doing it. I'm I'm withdrawing. I'm I fucking resign from marketing. Your fucking deal is the unit holders and investors to get it back from Bulla Bulla community through unit sales. Go and fucking do it. You, G, and Mary Lou are now in charge of unit sales. Off you fucking go. Oh, you're going on a tour next week. Are you good? Where to? With who? And what fucking money? Are oh, you going to pay for that out your own fucking pocket, are you? Mate, they can fuck off. And I reckon, you know what? You do a community fucking meeting and we get uh, uh, the, the go-to meeting. We sit there, you and me in the one fucking room, um, and we have the discussion and go, who he's unhappy because we're done and we're going to call for votes. This is fucking, um, you know, who's, who's unhappy with the block? Who's unhappy with what they've got? Who's unhappy with the profits, right? Well, everyone's obviously unhappy with us, so we're done. We're fucking resigning from sales and marketing. Good luck with that. You guys are now fucking completely fucking at the mercy of Mary Lou and whoever the fuck else wants to stick their head up right now and be in charge of marketing. So anyone else? I reckon get that fucking cunt on a webinar and say, right on, Mary Lou, you fucking piece of shit. Now fucking speak. So you think there's been misappropriation? Well, where? You've got all the accounts. There's no fucking money, you tunnel gutted whore. Where, where, where's it go from here? Huh? Tell me that. Oh, so the money that's fucking coming into the account has been put in by us. We'll go fuck yourself. We want it back and we want it back right now. Dude, we can wind up bulla bulla like that. Like fucking that. They owe us the money. The company owes us the money. If fucking the association does, it'll be fucking a piece of shit as soon as, soon as we turn that, turn the tap off. So that's what everyone needs to get their head around is that it totally revolves around us. Totally. Without us, it doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. It will just be a farm now that's just got there with a fucking half demolished shed and house and some people on tents. It don't go any further than that, does it? I want us to secure the block next door. And dude, I'm fucking happy to move next door. I don't want... Honestly, if, if Mary Lou and Melissa are on the other ridge, I'm just going, you know what? I don't need that shit. Give me a 50-acre fucking parcel somewhere over there and uh, put a big fence around it and I'll get my fucking heaps of dogs in there and, dude, I don't need any more than that, <laughs> you know? Um, the people that I like can come and visit and those that don't, I don't care. There's not going to be a community centre because I'm not going to build one. There's not going to be community gardens because I'm not going to be involved in it. So unless you do it, but I'm assuming that, you know, you're not going to just uh, go and work for fucking free for these cunts to keep whipping you all the time. So I'm thinking that, um, yeah, no, there's not really going to be a community centre anymore, is there? So uh, and when we go away on this trip, I'm just going to be looking to sell units in the commercial precinct for a block on put a parcel on Bulla Bulla, absolutely. And maybe the smaller ones, absolutely. Probably tons of action there, but um, I'm not selling, not selling 183 acre parcel. I'm not. So uh, not for Mary Lou and uh, not for um, for that fucking other tunnel gutted hall, whatever her fucking name is. Fucking cunt hole Zimmy. Fuck her. So, uh, yeah, they'll be selling both of their parcels on their own because I've already officially fucking resigned. I won't do it. So, um I reckon you need to do the fucking same thing, unless they're going to pay us our 10% deposit. Because remember, we're still doing that for free, dude. All of this shit, you still got to fucking sell their unit for free. Fuck that. Too bad. So sad. I've resigned. I want 18,000 bucks if I'm going to be involved in that fucking thing to sell that unit, or I ain't doing it. I'll sell the smaller units for the smaller parcels, and guess what? They can just fucking suck it up. Issue them another unit, give them another three-acre parcel, and tell them to start fucking building a house or something. I don't give a shit, so... Um, yeah, I wanted to fucking fully explain. So you would have seen the email that I sent with the statements, and of course there's nothing on it. 
Um, and if anyone says that, we, yeah, we lived out of that fucking thing. That's right. Yeah, for those period of time, because we worked continuously for while I'm in Horizons. And in fact, that money was a was a portion of what you owe us. Um, in fact, there's another thirty thousand bucks that you owe us. So, you know, who's going to jump in as director now? Because it, it, it has a hundred thousand dollar debt so far. That company. So, yeah. I can be such a cunt if I want to with all this fucking stuff. So they want to be really fucking careful where they play this from here. So, but fuck it. Um, um, those two cunt holes, there's nothing being done for them. Nothing at all from me. They won't get fucking anything at all. We do a separate deal with Phil and Craig on the money that they've got out to go straight back into the commercial now. So uh, we can sell their parcel. And um, if they wanted to do that, or we can work out some other other arrangement where perhaps it's just sort of like used as security to come across. I don't know. It's the same thing. So it's really just a cashless sort of a thing. So they don't have to worry about it. And the other two investors, well, they're still sitting there and the first 180,000 parcel that gets done, we'll go to Melissa and the second one will go to Mary Lou. The fact is I'm not fucking selling them. I'm not pushing to sell them. I'm going to sell the cheaper ones and the smaller ones. I'm going to push everything around to make sure that they fucking suffer so bad. It's not funny. And let's push them. Let's push them out. I want them fucking out of the community. So, once I make my mind up in one way, shape or form, be it now or in fucking four or five years time, I will get those cunts out. So I'm fucking done. Hey, I just got off the phone to Phil who's on um, Mumbai. So I had a chat with him. I know you spoke to him as well. So give me a holler at that. Um, I'd like to live in the number bar property. I could live in that fucking house there. Um, give me a holler, dude. I I want to tell Phil, I don't know if you've already told Phil all the stuff you heard about Greg and his missus and all the rest of it, but if his missus is lining him up to fucking milk him dry and give him a fucking hiding, um, that will have a fucking direct commercial impact on us. So two things, I want to have that discussion with Phil that says, so where's the money coming from, from here? <laughs> you know, we like you, Phil, <laughs> but it was also based around money. Um, and then B, are you aware that she's fucking aware and that she's going to fucking line you up and shaft you? So uh, I don't like, you know, I wasn't asked to keep that in confidence. I don't know if you were. Um, I think Greg may have been, but regardless, I wasn't, and I'm uncomfortable knowing what I know and not telling him. So um, obviously, strategically, if that was the case, I could live with that. <laughs> but it's not. We don't, you know. Anyway, have a have a think and let me know your thoughts. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, wasn't going to tell him now. It's with Eamon as well. But I, I think a call on the way home to say, hey, listen. Um, yeah, you got a few issues. This is what I know. I don't want to be gossip. I don't want to do anything. I'm just giving you the heads up that they know more than what uh, you think they know and you probably should prepare accordingly. So uh, anyway. Oh, dude, there's so much fucking really good stuff. And then again, comes back to women, dude. It's all bogged down with women. And the whole fucking... It's literally a, a, a cyclone going a cyclone going on around me. You know, there's... I can, st I can see it all fucking happening and all the shit going on and... At the moment, it's you know, it's disruptive, but fuck it, hell, it could be catastrophic out there, and they're all women, all based around women. So, anyway, did you get the um the letter sorted for G? Is that dropped off? Have you served her? And then just where you're at with the other ones, maybe give me a bell on the landline if you uh, are near that phone, dude. Um, all right, I'll chat you soon. Okay, no worries. I'll see you soon, man. Trying to get myself out of bed. <clears throat> I'm not even sure if taking the train's the right way to go. Giving them a fucking sick affair, whether we should just take the car, drive in and out, pay the fucking money, depart. It's going to be stinking hot. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'm fucking not in the mood at the minute. I'll um, see him when you get here, man. Hey, mate. Yes, I'm not in bed. I'm actually just sitting on the land for a shower. I'm anxiously waiting to hear that you've uh, been ID'd at the ATO and got out of there. <laughs> so, um, yes. The the best way to find the ATO, the old Centrelink, is um, the, Coles, the Coles supermarket. It's diagonally opposite, like from the, the, the corner of the block. It's There's a set of lights. It's diagonally across that set of lights. It's right there next to a sushi train. If you put sushi train there, the Labrador one, it's right there. So Coles at Labrador is diagonally opposite Centrelink. So you could park in the Coles car park and just walk across the road. Um, <clears throat> so yes, please make sure you do. Otherwise we'll be fucking, I think we wait, we might get the letter that you don't want that will really fuck up our time. 
Um, and I hear what you say about my health and all that sort of shit. So yes, and I, I'm just trying to work out. I mean, I haven't eaten obviously anything now because I've thrown it all up. It's like, well, if I don't eat anything until dinner and I have like a hundred grams of food, it's like there's nothing. There's no there's no fuel. So I'm gonna force myself to eat something now. I don't know what. And that's what I'm about to sit in the lounge and fucking sort out. Um, dude, I wouldn't even bother. <clears throat> um, with trying to do the highway at all i think at any stage it's going to be a fucking nightmare dude you're best to go um do centrelink and then go straight up brisbane road but go over the highway completely over the highway towards pack pines and follow it up to maudslin road turn left there that takes you out to the back of narang and hens dam dude and just do the do the hop skip and the jump over the um over numamba because um yeah, you go the front way, you've got fucking hours and hours, at least that way you're driving the whole way. There's no one else going to be doing that trick. <clears throat> so, because it doesn't get them anywhere except down to Mwoomba. So, um, man, I'd, I'd probably look to do that. Do Centrelink, straight up Brisbane Road, over to Pack Pines, keep going up to Maudslin Road, turn left. I think Maudslin, I think Guanabar Road, you turn left and you follow all the way out till you hit uh, Mount Nathan Road, which goes out to Hins Dam and you know where to from there. That's what I'd do. All right, I'm gonna go and find something to eat. Um, let me know how you go. It's on a link and what's happened, and I will, um, yeah, mate, I'll be here waiting to hear. All right, chat you soon. Yes, man, I am. That's great news <coughs> because now we get to find out what the fuck <coughs> their, <laughs> their next move is. So, um, anyway, we'll deal with that as it comes. Um, how did you go getting, did you go back over the highway or what did you uh, end up doing? Going to go in the front highway, up over the back through Narang or um, you're going to wait it out? What, what did you decide, man? <coughs> I've just <coughs> had some blueberries and I was still sitting on the lounge waiting for Christy to get home with Harry and I don't plan on doing fucking much at all, man. Maybe even not watch a movie or something, but we need to get that community email out um, done and dusted and sorted at worst tomorrow morning. I think you know what to get to get the fucking done and actually emailed um, so we can vote before the end of the week and then you can serve G that fucking letter as well. So it's all done and dusted. All right, man, let me know how you're traveling, where you're at. I'll um, chat you soon. Hey, yeah, cool. And I, actually, I've already done that. I um, I responded to that eight minute fucking thing by saying, yep, all fine, whatever. I'm happy to um do the mediation thing between you guys so it's still nice i said but i don't want to be drawn into the money thing be it 10 percent or 90 percent, whatever it is it needs to be fair and equitable and you need to feel like you know you know he's not short changing you and you also feel need to feel like he's not you know you're not shafting her and i said otherwise it'll just be resentful and fucking argumentative all the way through so if you've got that um um, child support thing saying, well, I've only got to give you 27%, Steph, and I've already agreed to that. Um, in fact, I'm giving you more, you know, it's, she doesn't want anywhere to go, does she really? So I said, you guys need to work out the number between you both. It's nothing to do with me. And I said, once you work it out and then put it in paper, then we can just, I'll pay it. And it'll be paid each week. And, you know, she'll have consistency and all that shit. So anyway, I've left that message um, already. So there you go. She'll get that text from me. She might even she might even think it's a bit contrived and a bit staged, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, and I said for her to contact Peter Heddington direct about the other bits and pieces she needs to do for the tax office for tomorrow. So anyway, um, it'll be interesting to see what letter comes through. It might even come through overnight, dude. So we'll soon find out. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that whole that whole landscape will change anyway. Um, if and when we get the other status and a few other things. So, and they might be tax payable regardless because we'll just write it off um, and donate whatever the fuck we're supposed to we'll give to Nikki. Um, and yeah, I wasn't talking about me getting involved and me paying it to a fuck that. No, I was talking about, say, me slash Rainmaker slash us would just have whatever that fee is. It's just a DD. If it's just like a, a, like a payment each week. So it's just automatic payment is what I meant. Not that I would be paying it. I won't be fucking paying it. Um, or get involved. I don't want to be involved at I have enough shit going on. I don't care Ugh, for any more. So, um, yeah, no, I was just meaning that once you agree a figure, then it's just it's just the automatic payment, dude. So she gets it and she knows it's coming across. If it's 300 bucks a week, it's 300 bucks a week. That's, um, well, that's generous, isn't it? It's 30% of a thousand bucks. That's 30% of the gross. So, and then you take out your car allowance, so it's even more. But yeah, that won't be hard to. 
document and show and structure. Anyway, I don't care how it actually happens. All right. Oh, fuck, I can hardly keep my eyes open. All right. I'll um, chat you soon. Yep, go for it. Hey, yep, I hear all that. And, um, oh, yeah, no one knew all that anyway. Um, and I'm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm handling it fine. I don't take any of the fucking drama where it, you know, it lays dormant and comes back and all of a sudden if it comes back and you do it, it's usually because of the stress and the fucking food that you're eating and the, the way you're smashing your body and it's exactly what I'm doing. I'm fucking eating shit food and I'm smashing my body with a huge amount of stress and no one gives a shit and yada yada and we've got to keep working and, you know, so yeah, it's, it's, it's why we're going through the fucking the physical shit that we're going through at the moment because it's totally rely on us. Uh, but when we build it around, you know, we build it not around us, which is the aim. And that's the whole fucking aim is to get to be one last hurrah. I don't want to be doing a whole heap of this shit. I want to do enough to get my dough to get out to never have to work again. So it is a short term thing. It's just managing the stress and the health and all the other issues on the way through. So as not to fucking die um, would be nice. And then uh, not to have to go to jail would be nice. And then I can focus on some fucking health and, you know, all that sort of shit. So, um, yeah, I just managing it. I've been managing it for the last few years, dude. But what I need is time off. If I had 10 days off, I'd probably bounce back really fucking quickly. But uh, anyway, let's just get the fucking deal done and then I would be cool to take Christy overseas or fucking do something or go somewhere. Anyway, I'll, um, mate, I'll chat you a bit later. I'm going to... I don't even know what happened for dinner, actually, because Christy's not home yet from... Getting Harry, that will be a, a fucking, that'll be a nightmare, adding all the school traffic into all that shit, so I'll give her a call now and find out where she is. All right, man, I'll chat you a bit later, and if it were me, yeah, I'd be either booking into somewhere there. The Grand Hotel's got rooms above it, you know, by the way, um, and whatever night it is, it probably won't be a walk it off the street, might be pretty cheap. Um, otherwise, yeah, you'd go, but I, I would go back over Numan Bar, as I said, up through um, over Hins Dam, you just go straight up Brisbane Road, up Pack Pines and turn left, and then the way you go if you're going to go that way. All right, I'll talk to you. Sarah will feed Jasper, I guess you've sorted that out. Oh, I'll talk to you later, man. See ya.